Hi guys, welcome to another Dead Good Walk. Uh, today we're in Mort Lake, or maybe it's pronounced Mort Lake, I'm not sure. Um, we're at Ma St. Mary Magdalene's Church. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday, and the service is at 9.30, so I thought I'd come along and uh, before everyone gets here and come for a little look for Richard Burton's tent tomb. Oh, this feels really peaceful, it's lovely. Oh, I can see Richard Burton's tomb there in the background. Oh, I'm so excited, I just want to walk straight to it, but I'll have to be respectful and uh, go look at other people's graves first. Never seen one like this before. It's like casket style, isn't it, or a like a luggage case or something? Can't see any inscription on this one. It's probably a memorial for a group of people. This is Leo Cox and Corporal Frederick Cox, who died in France. Alright, I can't bear it for much longer, I'm too excited. Let's go look at uh, Richard's tomb. So this is Richard Burton. And he's in there next to his wife, Isabel Burton. Now, uh, Richard was a British explorer, uh, a writer, scholar, and a soldier as well. And he's famed for his travels and explorations of Asia, Africa, and the Americas. Um, he's a very intelligent man. He could speak 29 languages, uh, African, Asian, and most of the European uh, languages. Uh, he's probably best known for travelling to Mecca in disguise and that was at a time where Europeans were forbidden to access uh, and if they, were, if they got caught the sentence would be death so quite a courageous man as well <laughs> and what's incredible about this tomb is you can climb up these ladders and have a look at all the things they collected on their travels together and you can see uh, Richard's there on the right hand side and Isabel's on the left there are some pictures of the inside online and I'll, uh, I'll throw them up in the video so you can have a closer look So we'll go check out the rest of the cemetery and uh, come back because I'm not sure if you guys are getting a good view with the sun on it so hopefully it goes behind a cloud and we can have a, a better look. Um, I think I saw a mausoleum down the other end as well when I looked on Google so we'll go check that out. This one reads, Mary Elizabeth Gray, our dear mother. So 
Sorry about the plane noises again in this video, it seems to be a common theme, doesn't it? Oh, so this is a lot bigger than I thought. It looks, uh, looks a lot bigger than it does on Google. I've never seen two pillars uh, together before like that, symbolising a life cut short, of course. I think this definitely is a mausoleum, isn't it? I did think it might be like a shed or something. Guillaume Henri Comte de Veslo, so he's a, he was a count age seven. Wow. Let's go around the back and see if we can uh, respectfully uh, look in the windows. Uh, they're well rearranged, aren't they? I think somebody had OCD, whoever did them. Bit of old ironwork there on the floor. Let's see if we can see anything. It's going to be too dark. Oh, I can see a coffin there. Something on top of it as well. Some flowers, possibly. Can't see anything through that one. Oh, rest in peace, young game Henri. There's a lot of Celtic crosses here, it's probably the most I've ever seen in a graveyard. But I guess you'd expect that from a, from a Roman Catholic church, wouldn't you? Let's have a look behind this tree just in case we miss anything exciting. Marguerite Layette there. Nothing too exciting, but rest in peace, Marguerite. This is a cool one, isn't it? Such a good design. I love the black. Corporal Giuseppe Stokes. Little Jesus on the cross there, hiding in the bushes. Thankfully it's not burning. Look at this copper sacred heart of Jesus there. For John Hoban or Hoban, Francis Jerringham, so I'll head back to uh, Richard Burton's tent tomb now just to see if we can get a better look inside if the, if the sun goes in for a minute. I'm gonna go in for us a little bit. Let's have a look anyway. Oh, 
hopefully you've got a good view. I think the windows due are clean. So there it is again. Bedouin tent tomb. Almost looks like you could just pull the curtains and walk in, doesn't it? I know it does open, um, I think it's open once a year. So you can actually go inside and have a look. So maybe I can come back and do that. stairs there going down into a basement oh probably a crypt isn't it it's definitely going to be a crypt down there I think I'll wrap this one up now guys, I think we've covered all the interesting bits you can find in here. Um, I just want to say thanks to all my new subscribers, it hit um, 300 the other day and I never expected to get that many so thank you again, much appreciated. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and don't be shy, drop me a comment, let me know what you think and I'll see you on the next one.